So hello everyone, my name is Mario Damiani. I'm with the admissions team of the International University of Monaco and welcome to this webinar dedicated to our Master's Science in Sustainability and Innovation Management. We are here today to discover the extensive impact of such issues of sustainability innovation in today's and tomorrow's economy, together with the many careers available. I'm not alone today, I'm company of uh, Dr. Elena Tavella, Program Director of this Master. Hello, Elena. Hello, everyone. And also uh, in the company of Arnaud Blandin, entrepreneur in the sustainability industry and co-founder and managing partner of Beyond Builders. Hello, Arnaud. Hello, hello everyone. So guys, you uh, this uh, presentation is made up of two parts, let's say. So a discussion between the program director and our guest of today, Mr. Blandin. Uh, but in the meanwhile, you can use the chat or the Q&A session to make all your questions. We will make sure to answer all your questions during the presentation. So don't be shy, write them down and we'll be managing all of them. So I guess that's all we can start. So Elena, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Mario. And also thank you so much to Arnaud for joining us uh, for this conversation. We really appreciate your presence to have a talk with us. Uh, Arnaud, I know from knowing you that you are very passionate about sustainability. Sustainability is your job, it's your passion. So could you tell us uh, a little bit about your story? For example, what is your current role? And also tell us something about your career path. Oh, yes. Uh, thanks a lot, Elena. I'm, I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for giving me the floor. Uh, very briefly, I'm a, I'm a computer scientist, computer engineer by training. Um, I followed, I would say, a, a typical a career of someone who moved to the US uh, and work in a, in a startup at the time that became quite popular. And uh, that first career of mine moved me from San Francisco to Geneva, then to Singapore, where I was um, I spent uh, 10 years doing various things. Um, after my first career, I became, uh, I touched a little bit the uh, investment side and I've been helping a lot of companies and a lot of um, a technological uh, company in their innovation, in growing, in uh, hiring people, in thinking about strategy. And uh, after a while, we decided that it would be good actually to probably come back to Europe and understand what was happening in Europe. And it's only when, I, when coming back to Europe that I realized that uh, sustainability was not a, a topic on the side of business, it was not a topic on the side of doing something else that it was something that was very central to everything we're doing. And since then, so it's been now five years, a little bit more than four years actually, um, I've dedicated the rest of uh, my life somehow to sustainable uh, initiatives. And uh, one of them is uh, having the opportunity uh, to teach students, uh, thanks, uh, thanks to IUM. And uh, most of my time is spent into changing business models of existing companies in becoming more sustainable in their practices, but more importantly, in developing new products and new technologies that are actually enabling us to transition towards sustainable, um, uh, a sustainable economy. Great, yeah, you have a very interesting uh, profile, very interesting background, very international. Uh, what caught my attention is that you said that you are working with changing existing business models, meaning making them more sustainable. So this sounds to me like, yes, a huge task, a very interesting one. Uh, and I'm wondering what are some of the key challenges that you are facing in this role or in your job? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a actually a, thanks a lot for the question. Uh, it's actually super relevant uh, to the to the program that uh, you are building in Monaco. Um, one of the main challenges we see is the lack of understanding of what sustainability is. Uh, everyone has kind of a view of their point of view about sustainability. Some people think it's it's about resourcing. Some others think it's really about how we treat people. Some others think it's all about CO2 and carbon reduction. 
uh, actually the, the bad news, it's everything at once, uh, everything at once. And what we are missing today is really uh, three kinds of uh, knowledge. The first one is, like I said, is making sure that everyone who is studying any kind for any kind of job has an understanding of what sustainable means. Because every job is being impacted today. Uh, it's, it's, slow, uh, it's slowly coming, it's faster in Europe, but every job is required somehow to have some sense of what is CO2, what is water, what are resources, you know, what is our impact on people? The second thing that uh, we are missing is people who are able to lead the change. And I'm saying change because uh, we are definitely, definitely on a path today, on a path to reduce our CO2 emissions. Uh, but CO2 emission is only the first pillar that companies are tackling. Uh, after that, you will start seeing companies starting to think about, okay, how do we use rot water? How do we reuse water? Same thing for waste, same thing about um, putting in place new business model as circular economy. So, and that's the third pillar that we are missing today is people who are with an open mind and that are passionate enough to innovate within business models. Because today, lots of companies understood that they need to move on, they need to change, they need to transition. But Obviously, a lot of them are afraid because it seems that the only way they picture themselves reducing their emissions, reducing their uh, material economical food, um, uh, environmental footprint is to sell less, which is exactly what a company should not do. So innovation about the business model, how do we change the pricing? How do we invent new products? How do we re to the customer. So those are the, really the three things missing. And so the knowledge, the change management and leadership skills, and the innovation skills. Great. So basically, you said that um, knowledge, you could also say uh, skills and competencies about sustainable development are relevant to any type of job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So can we say that studying a program in sustainability and innovation management opens up doors to any type of job? Or what would you say are the career prospects, the main ones uh, for graduates from such a yeah. program? Yeah, I, I, it's an excellent question. And I think uh, today it's, it's an excellent opportunity to open as many doors as possible. Because the reality is sustainability means so many different things that what we have decided to do at IUM is making sure that it's as broad as possible so that you can open path to a lot of careers. So for instance, I wouldn't be surprised if some people end up after uh, following uh, the class to go into finance because there's such a need into finance about sustainability that they call it a bit more about ESG. So it's either about how do we look at sustainability of our investments? How do we invest in sustainable companies or uh, towards the industry, the hotel chain, the luxury also is a very demanding. So I would agree with you. It's, it's kind of opening jobs to almost everywhere. Uh, and those jobs today will obviously change along the line of uh, the career and it's better to have the the it's better to shape your career with this knowledge about sustainability today rather than be forced and this is what i'm seeing happen today uh, some people who are already 10 years 20 years in their career where they are forced somehow to go back to school to learn about sustainability uh, else they are going to plateau in their career so in terms of career Studying sustainability with a little bit of innovation inside will definitely open doors. And like I said, it ranges from uh, finance, traditional industry, but we can also talk about uh, startups uh, and innovation companies that are doing a lot around uh, climate technology, ocean protection technologies. Uh, so it's de definitely something that uh, I would recommend doing. So when you were mentioning before uh, the challenges that you encounter in your role of uh, sustainable change maker or having a job in sustainable development, um, I could sort of sense that you basically said 
there is a need for skills, for competencies, for knowledge about sustainable development, and also about having the right mindset. Mm -hmm. Meaning, saying like kind of engaging in such a master programs and afterwards pursuing a career in sustainability requires a particular mindset. Like you were saying, somebody should not be afraid of uh, taking upon this challenge to making a change. Could you tell us a little bit more about this mindset of uh, a sustainable change maker, if we could yeah. call that yes. so? Um, so obviously, I'm very biased in my answer. I'm a, I'm a very positive uh, person. Uh, I believe, I still believe that the challenge is in front of us, uh, which is mostly how do we transition to an economy that is not dependent on finite resource. It's still something that as a human species, we can tackle. And it's true, in order to tackle those challenges, you need to have uh, some sort of growth mindset. And this is what we, we expect to equip students with is make sure that you're not lost with the burden of you know what you hear in the news about how uh, trouble it is uh, to you know every every day almost we have a, a very troubling news about uh, something happening to water pollution happening here and we all forget that as human beings actually we have uh, the ability to change all that so, it, it, but it really requires a change mindset. People who are able to think uh, outside of the box. We want students who are going to be able to think outside of the box because obviously the solutions don't exist today. And uh, to quote a, a very famous physicist, um, the, 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 to think about the solution of tomorrow, we need to have a different mindset that created the problems in the first place. And this is exactly what we want to equip people with. It's not, not only, this is why knowledge is important. Knowledge is, okay, this is where we are. These are the challenges that the world is facing, but we also want to make sure that we equip students with a growth mindset, an innovation mindset, so that they can think about things that would, would be said as disruptive, uh, you know, as, uh, as uh, changing the game. And this is what we need. This is uh, the kind of people we need uh, in, this, uh, in this master. Yeah, this sounds to me all very inspiring because sort of what I can hear is that it's also about learning to trust, to trust yourself, to trust in your ability to make a change and also to trust uh, in others, your, uh, let's say, your colleagues, your environment, your family, your friends, that uh, there can be a more positive, let's say, or mm -hmm. let's uh, let's uh, let's say let's uh, a more positive future or more a sustainable one. So that sounds uh, very much uh, inspiring. Together with having the right mindset, the skills, and the competencies, we were also talking about uh, opportunities for career development, job opportunities. And you mentioned, for example, uh, the opportunity to work in finance, luxury, hospitality. Uh, could you maybe be more specific about concrete and maybe the most relevant job opportunities uh, that you see currently mm. in, in and outside Monaco? Yes, uh, definitely. So there's at the moment, there's a, a huge demand, a really, really big demand uh, for having managers who can manage what we call the ESNG data, environmental, social and governance data. There's, there's something happening, a perfect storm where regulator wants to see more data, investors want to see more data, and companies are now willing to invest in people who can help them manage that data. I'm talking about data and you'll see that it has a link with sustainability because what I'm seeing is the people who are in charge of getting back that data are also thinking about how to value those data. So there's really a jobs opportunity around managing the environmental and social data. Uh, on the flip side, or not really the flip side, uh, adjacent to it, we start to see also uh, innovation uh, type of job that used to be, if you remember, 10 years ago, it was very focused on digital innovation. 
Now it's really coming to uh, sustainable innovation. So we start to see also uh, jobs being created around uh, thinking about new business models, helping uh, project managers and business unit owners uh, to think about how to best uh, leverage these uh, sustainability practices. But they are also, and I'm seeing that as well, in more established companies, uh, jobs to help them perform better as well, render their all operations as uh, sustainable. So it's a really a, a wide range, and uh, both in Monaco and outside Monaco. Uh, it's true um, that uh, Europe, the Europe, European regulation, is uh, is helping a lot at the moment uh, because there are there are new regulation reporting regulations coming into place, which is opening a lot of uh, job possibilities. Uh, and I forgot to mention there's also a, a lot of the auditing and consulting uh, services that are recruiting uh, on those um, on those uh, new skills and uh, new capabilities. Yeah, great, very interesting. I mean, what I really like that you said is it seems that uh, having a job in sustainable development requires creativity, an entrepreneurial spirit. So it's okay. really, a, um, let's say, a degree and a career path for somebody who wants to go out and, let's say, experiment with their own skills, competencies, and knowledge, who wants to be entrepreneurial and creative in order to make a difference, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I wanted to touch a, a little bit on that point. Um, it's true that sustainable, sustainability uh, is a word that is being used for many years, if not decades today. Um, so people don't understand what it means today they still think about okay it's, yeah we know we need to do business in a sustainable way the reality of what we see is there's so much change happening uh, that sustainability today is becoming strategic before it used to be oh i'll, I'll get my sustainability expert and uh, you know he will he will look in, in, at the business but we will still continue the business our way now we we start to see sustainability experts being in at the core of the business strategy. As a matter of fact, um, you can look at the public companies. Most of them now are appointing at the board of directors, a, a chief sustainability officer. Uh, so it tells you a lot, huh? it tells you a lot and you're absolutely right. And because it's new, it's kind of a reinvention of the sustainability um, uh, job, it requires a growth mindset, an entrepreneurial mindset, someone who is willing to test uh, and learn. Absolutely. Great. So let's say like uh, studying sustainability and innovation management is great because it offers a wide range of career opportunities, as we have heard, both in different sectors as well as in different uh, corporate roles and also let's say more on the entrepreneurial part for example developing a known startup and let's say it's a degree also for those uh, kind of people who would really go would really like to go out and make a change in the world are there any reasons you could think of for why somebody should study sustainability and innovation management and maybe also why in Monaco? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a very good question, actually. Um, uh, why, why in Monaco? Let's address uh, the why in Monaco uh, piece and why we've decided to, to set up that program there. Uh, Monaco is, is obviously uh, leading a lot of uh, initiatives on sustainability and it's not so surprising and people uh, in this webinar should know that Monaco is investing a lot of, of its soft power in everything around the protection of our ocean uh, and you just have to be in Monaco to understand how important uh, this protection is. As a matter of fact, as part of IUM, there's a, a very good program, actually, uh, the Ocean Protection Challenge every year where uh, startups are gra graduated. There's a, there's a contest and obviously it gives to the future students a real life opportunity to participate 
to real projects. You know, it's not going to be some only something that you learn in the class and then you write a paper. No, no, no. You will see real projects happening at the Aquarium uh, of Monaco. Uh, there's a lot of researchers thinking about how to use the corals, lots of new technology. And, and this is the, the best way to really, at the same time, uh, blend the sustainability knowledge that we will get, the innovation knowledge uh, as well, and be completely applied in Monaco. So there's a, a lot of push in Monaco to really make sure that, first of all, the net zero target are being uh, uh, followed, uh, that oceans are being protected. And every during the entire year, there's a lot of events, a lot of opportunities also to network. Uh, people forget that about Monaco. There's a lot of networking opportunities, mixing investors, uh, family offices, financiers, entrepreneurs, uh, people from all over the world. Uh, and uh, uh, IUM is giving you actually a unique uh, access to those events uh, that can really speed up uh, the development of your career. Yeah, no, thank you so much for pointing this out that like um, studying at IUM and let's say living in Monaco for uh, for one year and potentially also for the internship gives you access not only to knowledge, experts, mm -hmm. but also to practitioners through the networking events and all the conferences, seminars that are taking place throughout the year, specifically or for example, in the context of uh, ocean protection. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that gives you, you could say it's a springboard, you know, for the internship and for your first uh, career opportunities. Absolutely, absolutely. And the, I think this is really one of the key aspects of Monaco to, uh, to put forward that people may not uh, think too much about, but um, it's a small place. It's very easy to meet people. For, for the people who are extremely motivated in uh, advancing their career, this is a fantastic place to meet people that are actually connected worldwide. Um, usually you tend to go to a, a very large city and you realize that a lot of the business, uh, uh, um, a lot of the business community is really focused on the city itself because it's huge places, right? In Monaco, it's different. Your people in Monaco, obviously by the context of Monaco, have to be open to the world and it's giving you a, a, a fantastic uh, opportunity just yes, to have a view of what's happening in the world. Great, yes, thank you so much. I have one more question to you, Arno. Yeah. And basically, for, do, for the students who would like for, for who would like to sign up for our program, what you what would you suggest in terms of their career development? What would you say are the key suggestions for the students studying sustainability and innovation management? In, in how, what, what kind of um, a job they can picture themselves doing, you mean, in the future? Yeah, like for, for career advice, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I, I would say, um, I would make sure first uh, that before signing up, um, because obviously everyone is talking to you that sustainability is, is becoming important, do a little bit of study and check all the recent agreements that companies have signed and, com and governments have signed, it will encourage you to show that the, the, the skills and talents that you will develop will actually uh, last for life. That's going to be a foundation for your future career. And um, as a career aspiration, what I can say is uh, I've seen already just in Monaco and, and around Monaco, uh, there's so many already different opportunities that you can be exposed to many different things as, you know, like I said, working uh, uh, in finance, working in an engineering company, working in a startup, working in an industry. Uh, the industry will have a, a huge role. Um, and, and, and keep that in mind, you won't be restricted. This is really something that, uh, and even the students were actually uh, a bit lost. I understand that uh, a lot of the students are still a bit young. It's still a fantastic program actually to start shaping the future of your career. Uh, don't be afraid to take somehow a diploma where you realize after half a year, this is absolutely not what you want to do. And you know you have to finish half a year and then do something else. No, here, 
it's still something where you can think during uh, the classes about where you want to go and where you want to apply. Yeah, I think it's a great advice to tell uh, students, prospective students, like take opportunities from day one, because any opportunity can be an open door for an internship, for Absolutely. professional experience, for career or career development. And at the same time, don't be shy. Afraid no, 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 to no. try out new things. <laughs> no, no, absolutely, absolutely. Great, thank you so much, Arno, for the very interesting conversation. I'm giving back the word to Mario. Yes, so thank you, thank you very much uh, to you guys for attending this webinar dedicated to our Master of Science and Sustainability Innovation Management here at IUM in Monaco. As you can see, I written in the chat my email address. So uh, write to me for any additional information you would like to receive about this program or about the admission uh, process as well. I'll be uh, happy to get in touch uh, with you. And uh, for, uh, I would like to thank you, our guest, Arno Blandin, for sharing his insights and experience. Thank you very much. And thank you to the program director, Elena Tavella, for conducting this interesting conversation. So um, let's get in touch soon and maybe let's meet in September here in Monaco to start this new adventure with the Master of Science in Sustainability Innovation Management. Thank you, thank you everyone and goodbye.